Okay, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our math class. All right, so this afternoon, we will learn about solving word problems, okay? All right, everybody get your math textbook and open on this page. Just give me one second. Let me share the page for you, class, hold on. Solving word problems. For any reasons, I don't know the page number, but let me share the page for you, class. Hold on. Okay. So here, solving word problems. Does anyone know what page number this is? Solving word problems. What page number class in your book? Thirty-two. Okay, thirty-two. Everybody, open your math textbook on page number thirty-two. So this is the last topic for chapter two. Okay, let's start. So today's topic, it's all about solving word problems, okay? So let us solve some words on addition and subtraction. So we have example, hold on. We have example number seven. Right? So here's example number seven. Tamlin, can you read example number seven? Chain. One thousand. One thousand two hundred twenty dollars. Bucks. He dollars. He buys another two thousand one hundred fifteen dollars. Fifty. How many? Fifty. How many dollars does Chang have all together? Okay, thank you, Tom Leung. So I'm going to read one more time. Example number seven Chang has 1,220 ducks. You know what is ducks, right? And he buys another 2,150 ducks. How many ducks does Chang have altogether? Okay, this problem is very easy, class. All you have to do is to add the two numbers, which is 1,220 ducks and 2,150 ducks. So here's the solution, okay? So let us use a bar diagram to help us solve. All right, so this portion right here, this bar diagram, this is the 1,200 ducks, okay? And then the portion right here, this is the 2,150 ducks. So if you combine the two, how many ducks all together? All right, so the first step here is to find the number of ducks Chang has all together and add these two numbers. So 1,220 plus 2,150. So the answer is? 3,370 ducks. 
So the answer for that word problem is Chang has 3,370 ducks altogether. Do you understand? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Okay, very good. All right, so I will give you another example class. Um, let's say, um, let's say Hushi, okay? Hushi has um, 3,200 and 80 dogs. Okay, who she has 3,280 dogs. And Kaimu has 1,110 dogs. So how many dogs altogether? Again, who she has 3,280 dogs and Kaimu has 1,110 dogs. So how many dogs all together? What's the answer? Four thousand three hundred ninety. Very good. So the answer is four thousand. 390 dogs all together. All right. Do you understand? Yes, I do. No, I don't. I do. Okay, very good. Now let's proceed to example number eight. Okay, um, who is she? Can you read example number eight, please? Okay, number three, what happened? 20,400 and 26 people with visited has visited a zoo in May 2458 fewer people Few, fewer fewer people fewer people visited then the so in June, how many people visited the zoo in June? Okay, so I'm gonna read one more time, okay? So example number eight, 20,426 people visited a zoo in May. 3,458 fewer people visited the zoo in June. How many people visited the zoo in June? Ah, okay. So this one includes subtraction or minus, okay? So here's the solution. Let us use a bar diagram to help us solve. So class, bar diagram, bar diagram is this one, okay? This is called bar diagram. Everybody say bar diagram. Class, can you say this word bar diagram? Okay, bar diagram. So this is a bar diagram, okay? All right, so here's the solution. So on May, there are 20,426 people, okay, people. 
that's on the month of May. And then on the month of June, there are only 3,458 fewer, or meaning to say less. Fewer or less is the same. Fewer people or less, lesser people are the same, okay? So the question is, how many people visited the zoo in June? So this one, how many? So let's try to find out the steps, okay? So here's the step number one. To find the number of people who visited the zoo in June, subtract 3,458 from 20,426. So here's the solution class. 20,426 minus 3,458, that's going to be 16,968. So that means there are 16,968 people visited the zoo in June. So we already have the answer for this problem. All right, now I'm gonna give you another example. Let's say there are 30,821 people. This is in the month of July, okay? Month of July. And there are 10,201 fewer people. Fewer people, this is for the month of um, June. Oh, no, 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 it's not June, but August. Let's change it. The month of August. Okay, question is, how many people visited the zoo in August? So you just have to subtract 10,201 from 30,821. Again. 20,620. Yes. Okay, let's check your answer. Hold on. Okay, very good, Mukmai. So the answer is 20,620 people. Okay, very good. Class, do you understand? Yes, I do. No, I, I don't. That. Okay, yes, very good. All right. Yes, I do. Very good. All right. Now let's proceed to example number nine. Who wants to read example number nine? Who wants to read example number nine? No one? Okay. I'm going to call a name. Kaimu. Kaimok, are you able to read no, example number nine? 18,561 boys test for a test. 
5,122 more boy than girl says for the test by the total number of pupils. Pupils. This one is pupils. Pupils who says for the test. Okay, thank you, Kai Muk. So I'm gonna read one more time. So there are 18,561 boys sat for a test and 5,122 more boys than girls sat for the test. Find the total number of pupils who sat for the tests. Ah, all right, so here's the solution. So let us use a bar diagram. Okay, bar diagram. So step number one, find the number of girls who sat for the test. Okay. So we have to find the number of girls who sat for the test. So here's the solution class, all right? So the bar diagram says here, the number of boys which is 18,561. And then the number of girls here is missing. But we have a number of girls over here, which is 5,122. So we need to find this one, okay? So what we're going to do here first is we have to subtract, subtract 5,122 from 18,561. So it will give us an answer, 13,439. That's the number of girls sat for the test, okay? So step number two, find the total number of pupils who sat for the tests. So all we have to do is to add the number of girls and add the number of boys. So remember that the number of boys is 18,561, right? Number of boys. And we have the number of girls, which is 13,439. So all we have to do is to add these two numbers. So it will give us a total of 32,000 pupils sat for the test. Okay, so here it's gonna be 13,439. So overall, there are 32 pupils sat for the tests. Do you understand class? Do you understand example number nine? Okay, I'm gonna give you another example, all right? So let's say, let's say I have a total number of boys, which is 15,875. That's the number of boys. Okay, and then, the number of girls is, let's say, um, 8,210. All right, so let's try to find out.
Who would like to answer? Me. Okay, who's she? 7,665. Again, 7,665. 65. Okay. So this is the number of girls, right? So now all we have to do is to add 7,665 at 15. Thousand eight hundred seventy five plus seven thousand six hundred and sixty five. So how many students are there? So 23,440, let's check now. I'm go, let's try. So 15,875 plus 7,665. Oh, class, the answer, is it correct, yes or no? It's wrong. Who can give me the correct answer? 15,000, this one. 15,875 plus Twenty-three thousand five hundred forty. Twenty-three thousand five hundred and forty. Yes, yeah. it is correct. Okay, so there are twenty-three thousand five hundred and forty students or pupils overall. All right. Okay, do you understand class? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Now let's try to answer this exercise. We have one, two, three, and four. Okay, number one. Um, Pan Pan, big, can you read number one? Are they in the 
or chart? Or chart. Okay, so I'm gonna read one more time. There are 2,670 mango trees and 1,830 durian trees in an orchard. How many mango trees and durian trees are there in the orchard? So all you have to do is to add these two numbers. Yes, you may. So class, all you have to do is to class these two numbers. 2,670 plus 1,830. Who can give me the correct answer? What is the answer? Two thousand six hundred seventy plus one thousand eight hundred thirty. Me, Hoshi. Okay, Hoshi. What's the answer? Four thousand five hundred. Very good, Hoshi. So the answer is. 4,500, very good. Okay, number two, number two, I'm gonna call Ivy. Ivy, can you read number two, please? Machine. Machine A can seal. Seal. One. Wait. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand three hundred. Forty. Pockets. Of sweets in five hours. Five hours. Five hours. Machine, machine. we can seal two seal two thousand two hundred sixty. Pockets, pockets, pockets of sweets in five hours. Hours. How many packets of sweets can machine be? in five hours. Okay, so this one is also easy class. You just have to add 12,340 and 2,260. So you have to add. What's the answer? Add these two numbers. 12,340 plus 2,260. Anyone? Twelve thousand four thousand. No. 
you just have to add 12,340 plus. So just add the two numbers. 14,600. Oh, very good. So the answer for number two is 14,600. Okay, very good. Number three, um, Chompu, can you read number three, please? Fast twenty five thousand eight hundred eight less fast and one thousand three hundred fifty fewer is this month. How many eggs did she sell in the two months? Okay, so I'm gonna read one more time. Fa sold 25,800 eggs last month and 1,350 fewer eggs this month. How many eggs did she sell in the two months? First step is you have to minus minus 25,800 minus 1,350. Okay, and then after that, you have to add the answer from here to 25,800. So this is a, and then here a, and then here is B. First is you have two minus 1,350 from 25,850. And then so once. 24,450. Oh, very good. So that's 24,450. And what about here? Me, Hoshi. Okay, Hoshi. 50,250. Very good. So that's 50,250. Because we added 24,000. 450 plus 25,800. So this is the total eggs that she sell in the last two months. Okay, that's 50,250. All right, do you understand students? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do too. Okay. All right, now let's, yeah, here's the solution. 25,800 minus 1,250, that's 24,450. Then plus 25,800, that's 50,250. Okay, now class, let's try to answer this one. What page number is this? Sorry. 
So answer this one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, page 38. All right, so open your textbook on page number 38. And I will give you 10 minutes, okay? Sip Nati to answer this one. If you're done, you can say, teacher, I'm done. Teacher. Yes. May I go to toilet, please? Yes, you may. Eight minutes. Are you sleepy, Pot? Sleepy, Mai? <laughs> Guitar, are you done? Are you finished? Mukmai, are you done? No.
teacher, I'm done. Wow, very good, Tamling. Good job. I will give you a, uh, a hint in number six. Number six is addition. Number six is addition. Addition. Kisha Malia Kate number thirty five number T what the answer? Uh it's fee fifty thousand two hundred and fifty. Kisha may go to toilet please. Yes, you may. Tam Lung. This is the answer for number three. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Class five minutes. Five minutes. Susu Naka. Susu. Teacher, I'm done. Very good, Chungpu. Kisha, I'm done. Very good, Pan Pan. Kisha, I'm done. I'm done. Is it now? But I'm done. Is it now? Kun sit now. Chai me ka, dig dig.
Hushi, are you done? Yes, I'm done. Okay. So Hushi, Pan Pan, Chompu, and Tamlung. Class quickly. Isha, I'm done. Very good, Kaimo. May I go to the toilet, please? Yes, you may. Who said I'm done? Very good. What? Teacher, I'm done. Very good, Rose. Teacher, I'm done. Very good, Mukmai. Three minutes. Samna T, three minutes. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, very good. Two minutes, two more minutes. I come just to say, oh, teacher, what do you like to eat in Thailand? <laughs> um, I like to eat tom yum kung. Tom yum kung. Chop gin tom yum. I like to eat tom yum kung. I like to eat pad krapao mukrop. I also like to eat. Wow. Yes, I like fried krapao mukrop, kapad kai. I like fried rice, and I also like pad thai, pad thai, and bualoi. You know bualoi dessert? Do you know bualoi? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what about you? What do you want to eat? What Thai food do you like to eat? <laughs> Oh, what do you like to eat? I mean, what Thai food do you like? Anyone? Who wants to answer my question? <laughs> okay, time is up. So let's answer your work. So I'm gonna call a student or maybe you can raise your hand to answer number one. So number one, add 7,123 and seven, uh, 2,675. Who wants to answer? Show me your hand. Number one, who wants to answer? Okay, Pan Pan Big, what's the answer for number one? 9,798. 
Very good. So the answer is 9,798. Check. Okay, number two, raise your hand. Who wants to answer number two? Number two, who wants to answer? Okay, move my number two. 48,789. Very good. So the correct answer is 48,789. All right. Good job. And number three, raise your hand. Thumb learn. 2,512. <laughs> 2,512, very good. That's the correct answer. Good job, Tam Leung. Number four. Number four. Number four, raise your hand. No one? Mm, okay, I'm gonna, okay, Chompu, number four. 43,345. Very good. So the correct answer is 43,345. And number five. Me, hi. Kaimo, number five. 57,000. Again, what's your answer? 57,812. 57,479. No. Again, again. 33,479. 33,479. No. This one is... 33,900. 33,979 is correct. So the correct answer is 33,979. What about number five? Number five. Anyone raise your hand? Oh, number six, I'm sorry. Number six. Who wants to answer number six? Guitar law. Guitar, do you want to answer number six? Not. What's your answer? Eleven thousand. The answer is 11,000. Okay, very good. Good job, kids. All right, so I think that's all for today, everyone. So I'm going to send you your homework in Google Classroom, okay? All right, thank you, students. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Goodbye. See you next week. Bye. -bye. See you next week.